Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, here we are again. It's very hot here. I think we're in for a hot summer here in Southern California. That's okay. Okay, I was driving home and I saw this bumper sticker, there is no planet B. And I thought, what? What is this planet B? There is a planet or anything I have not heard of? So when I got home, I did a search and it turns out that there's like a big controversy and people are saying there is no planet B. Okay, I am the queen of aliens, I thought, and yet something slipped past me. So um, if some of you have been following me for a long time, you know, I had a lot of alien stuff. And so maybe some of you have YouTube channels. You might want to stay off the alien stuff. But anyway, I lost half of my subscribers in one, one day. And my views have always been on the extreme low side. Nonetheless, I think we should investigate this Planet B thing. Okay, in the city of El Cajon where I live, we have the age of Uranus. And so I had one of their art photos. It was, I forget, it was planets or aliens. I had to get rid of it. It was so creepy. But anyway, um, at one point they said, okay, the aliens are coming and everybody went out into the East County and the aliens didn't show up. I first um, heard, I ran into people in the salons and they would claim to have seen aliens and a lot of them would go out into the desert and try to, you know, come in contact with the aliens. I've known a lot of people who say that they have seen spaceships and have seen aliens, but no one has ever reported being abducted, but I have watched tons of videos. Then we had Heaven's Gate in the North County of, of uh, San Diego. And these people were waiting for a comet, a spaceship to come out of a comet. This comet was going to pick them up and take them to um, outer space. And so what happened is they ended up uh, committing suicide. And it was, it was found that they had castrated themselves. So they were an odd bunch, but they were tech savvy and they weren't exactly poor. So now, now for planet B. Oh wow, well, I cannot believe I have not heard of planet B. Planet B is a science fiction drama series first broadcast on the BBC radio science fiction season between February and March of 2009. I cannot believe I haven't heard of this. Well, there's a big controversy now. There is no Planet B. Um, planet B is set in a virtual world called Planet B, in which people play as life-size avatars. Okay, so it's important to know exactly what an avatar is. A manifestation of a deity or released soul in a bodily form on earth and incarnate of a divine teacher. Um, you know, like whenever I, I think of avatars, I think of them as being like either greenish or bluish. And the Bible does talk about demons that are green. So, you know, that is definitely a bad sign. So now I, I posted on my Twitter, or you can look it up for yourself, the radio series, and I will be listening to this. Now, the way I was raised is, oh, you don't even want to think about this. You don't even want to listen to this. You're going to be possessed by a demon. Okay, first of all, a fallen angel is like a demon. And I do believe they are on earth. And, and so... The, in the virtual, um, the virtual reality, I guess the person will select a, a time like in history they want to go back to. So I haven't listened to the, uh, notice how uh, Britain always gets all the creepy witchcrafty type stuff. That's the best stuff. I love it when they scare the hell out of me. 
Okay, so one more thing. Okay, the preachers are saying, I don't know if this has anything to do with planet B. Is Earth planet A? I don't know. Anyway, they're saying these are not aliens. These are demons. So you have to ask yourself, okay, do I think a demon and an alien are the same thing? Possibly, but if the, if the avatar is like a spirit, possibly that could be a, a demon. But they're saying that the demons can walk amongst us in a body if the person is like possessed. And one of the things, this really got me kicked off of YouTube so bad. One of the things is that the clones were vessels for demons. That was one postulation about the clones. And also, you will notice that I think it was the Raelians were devotees as well to aliens. And they are the ones that supposedly um, cloned the first human. I think they're still um, denying human clones, but I think that is a lie. I think that it, there are clones, not saying that the clones are demons. But um, I heard it's easier for a clone to be demonized. So I thought you guys might want to check out Planet B. I mean, there's a big controversy. There is no Planet B. Don't even think about it. So um, another one we have here in San Diego is Scientology. And they're into aliens and outer space and stuff as well. So they, in the end of times, if this isn't the end of times, I do think that this stuff would be more... Um, available to people like on the world wide web okay you guys please like comment oh and if you have any good uh planet b information can you leave it in the comments please like comment and subscribe and god bless you all